G'day, I'm Ryan Blunden from Doppler. And in this video, I'll show you how to get started by creating your first project. So at this point, I presume that you've got a Doppler account and that you've installed the Doppler CLI on your machine and that you've ran Doppler login so your machine is authenticated. Next step, let's head back to the dashboard and unsurprisingly, we're gonna click on Create Project. Um, you'll give your project a uh, name and I always struggle uh, with typing and speaking at the same time, but I think I got that right. It's Mandalorian GIFs uh, random app. And here we have a new Doppler project with the default environments or dev staging and pr production. Now you can create new environments, you can delete these, you can rearrange the order. Um, it's a, yeah, it's really, really simple to use, pretty self-explanatory. So the easiest way to get started is to use something like an existing ENV file. Um, you can just grab the contents, click on import secrets, paste these in. This will populate all of the keys and values, then hit save. And if you want to save some time, you can also populate your other environments as well. And of course, you'd need to tweak these a bit before you know you take them live, but um, at least the hard work has been, has been done. All right, so now that our secrets are in Doppler, the next step is that we need to configure the Doppler CLI locally so it knows which project to pull the secrets from and which environment as well. Now we do that by running uh, the command called Doppler setup. Now, if you've got more than one project, it's going to allow you to choose, but in this case, we've only got one. And then you would just select the environment. I'm going to choose dev here. Now, because I'm going to be using the CLI, I don't need the env file, um, which is how this application was having its secrets su supplied previously. Now, the reason why we don't need it is because what Doppler does is it fetches your secrets from uh, using the Doppler API, and then it injects them into your application process. So as a result, that means we don't need the .env file anymore. It also means that I can delete all of this .env related code that I had in config.js. And just for good measure, let's actually install .env um, so we know there's no demo trickery going on. Okay, so now the new command, which is going to be uh, your new best friend, is Doppler run. Doppler run is responsible for instantiating a new process, injecting those secrets in as environment variables and then running the command. This can also be a script. Uh, and so we just give this a go and we can see, all right, we are in business and yep, our application is working as we expect. Now, one really good thing, uh, one bonus uh, in, in terms of comparing it to something like an ENV file is that if you need to make a change that you also want reflected um, with, you know, with your other teammates that are working on the same application, coordinating that via an ENV file can be a bit of a pain. With Doppler, because everyone is pulling from the same source of truth, once you update it here, all I have to do to have that secret uh, reflected locally is just to restart the app and you can see that the change came through. Now you're probably thinking, um, well, there's gonna be times when you actually wanna make a change locally and you don't want it to reflect um, you know, for the other people on your team. Um, and this is where what we call branch configs come into it. So if I click on, no, that's it. We got there in the end. Um, you can create a, a branch config and then that way, uh, let's say I'm going to change port uh, to 8080. Oops, there we go. So I'm gonna change it, the port back to 8080. And now if we look at the icon, we can see here that we've diverged from dev. Now, in order to preserve this change, I need to run Doppler setup again, because this time I'm going to select my new branch config. And then if I rerun Doppler run npm start, and you can see that I've got port 8080 back. All right, so that's how you do it if you wanna get started via the dashboard. Now, I know that as developers, some of you are much more uh, or about the CLI as opposed to visual dashboards. So let me just quickly show you um, if you wanted to get started via the CLI, how you can do that. Now, that's obviously going to involve me deleting this project first. Okay, so we're gonna start from a clean slate. All right, so in this case, using the Doppler CLI, we use the Doppler projects create command and we give the project a name. Now, if we were running this for the first time, we'd wanna do Doppler setup again. So we can select dev, and then we can use the Doppler secrets upload uh, command. And then we would simply just pa pass in the path to something like an ENV file again. It'll upload those secrets and that looks like it's all been inserted as we expect. Then if you use Doppler open, it'll take you to the project and the selected config, and you can see that everything was populated uh, as we would have expected. 
Okay, well, that's how easy it is to get started with Doppler by creating your first project. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in our other videos.